guys, G-Box Teardown. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did. So this battery is obviously flipped upside down on top of the unit. There's a white wire plugged in right here on the board. Just need to disconnect that. Now this sits on here. There are four screws, one, two, three, four, and this clear plastic piece on top. So the only way to access getting inside the G-Box is to take a razor blade. Be careful not to peel the bottom layer up too or you'll break the screws, but there's two layers here. Like I was saying, there's two layers. Make sure the only layer you're pulling up is the G-Box uh, clear stuff, and then you're going to slide your razor blade underneath it, and then take a, a card of some kind of um, you know, credit card, whatever, some old library card, and just keep prying and pushing until you get all the glue up. Once you get the glue up, then you'll have access to the screws. Like I said, there were four screws. Well, you'll have access to those. Once you pull those out, like I said, you'll get to the battery part. Make sure you unplug the battery from the board right there. You can flip this over. Then there are uh, three screws holding on the uh, uh, transmitter board here and two antennas. The antennas just pop out. There's a screw here, a screw here, and a screw right up here. As soon as you pull those out, this whole unit can come out. But what's interesting about this is, number one, if you're going to not be doing the modification, you know exactly which way to have your G-Box pointed now for best reception. So this is actually the bottom of the unit, which is a bit confusing because you never know where the antennas are and where to point them. So this is a little bit different than the 2.0 board. I got to see the 2.0 board, but this is a tad bit different. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm only going to be soldering one antenna. Unfortunately, this board is soldered to the uh, uh, other board here, so not helpful, but I can access the solder joints on this one antenna right here. So this appears to be some form of diversity box, uh, you know, two different antennas, whichever one's picking up the best signal it's going to go with. So what we're going to do is because I can access the solder joint on the side of this one, we're going to go ahead and solder in this brand new 3 dBi um, big boy antenna that's larger than the G-Box, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to do a hole right here at the bottom. Let me get this to focus. I'm going to do a hole right there at the bottom where the other antenna is. We're going to stick that SMA jack through it so it pokes out the bottom, screw on the nut, and then we'll be able to fit that big antenna on there and see if we get a range increase. I have a feeling we're going to. So basically all you do is just pop up this antenna. I'm trying to do this one-handed. This is really hard. Pop this antenna out. Come on, work with me here. There we go. Pop this antenna out just like that. And then when you remove the board, make sure you pull up and out. That way the power button can come out there loosely. And then you've got the entire board in your hands here. So what you're going to do is I have access to those solder joints right there. If I can get this to focus, come on, right there. See those solder joints right there? Um, that's where I'm going to be soldering the antenna to. Unfortunately, this one is too enclosed. I can't get at that one, unfortunately, but all I need is access to one of these. So luckily, this one on the outside, guys, for most of you, should be very accessible to be able to solder an external antenna on. We're not going to be removing the original antennas. I'm going to leave those on there, and I think we'll be good to go after that. So let me get this prepared, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Modification number one happening now. Oh, we got the solder joints out here. Once again, I'll zoom in so you can see those solder joints. I'll point them out to you. The wire with the clear plastic is the outside wire, and the uh, coated wire, or I'm sorry, the coated wire with the plastic is the outside uh, wire here, and the uh, dead ground sleeve wire is the inside one closest to the black tip here. So this is the uh, sleeve ground and this is the coated uh, internal wire it's going on the outside there so if you guys can see that one more time we'll try to focus this closely in I have to back up just a tad there you go so this is going on the outside this is going on the inside closest to the black outside closest to the black okay
So what I did here, guys, is I put a little solder, a couple big globs on there to extend the solder points out so it was a lot easier to work with. So now I'm going to go ahead and get my wire here ready to uh, solder on there, which I'll have to show you guys how that works. Let me uh, see if I can get this to focus for you. There you go. I put a little solder on the part that I'm about to do here. But uh, yeah, the frayed wire is going on the, oops, frayed, let me see if I can grab a uh, uh, screwdriver here. So the frayed wire is going right here, and the wire with the plastic around it is going right here. So like I said, I just tapped a little solder on there, got the joints extended out a little bit more so it was easier to work with, and now we're going to go ahead and uh, solder the wire on there. I'll show you what it looks like when we're done here. There you go guys, just so you can have a look at what I did there, if I can get it to focus, come on, there we go. So we just extended the solder points out a little bit more. I know it looks a little hacky, but that was the only way I was going to get in there tight and uh, get it soldered. So actually it doesn't look too bad, the camera makes it look a little rough, but the solder job itself doesn't look too bad. Like I said, it's really tight to get in there, so I just decided the best thing to do would be to extend the solder out a bit. So, but we're not touching anywhere. We seem to be good. I'm going to go ahead and glue this, hot glue this, so that that wire can't move at all. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Here you go, guys. As you can see, I extended both solder points out. We should have plenty of clearance. The wire is on there nice and good to the board. Uh, I went ahead and melted a hole right through this with my uh, solder gun. I should say my hand solder gun. Um, and uh, now we should be able to stick the SMA jack right through there, tighten the bolts, and screw on the antenna. I am currently heating up the hot glue gun here as we speak. I'm going to glue all that to make sure all those wires don't come disconnected and uh, they have a little, uh, a little better uh, uh, hold so that uh, we don't have to just rely strictly on the solder point. But guys, hot glue has been applied so that wire can't move any of that solder connection that I put on there. And the next thing you're going to need to do is there is a black piece like this holding part of this down. You're going to need to push and snap that off so that the hot glue can fit in there. This is what happens when you have to customize. So there we go. Now I should be able to take this board and put it right in the face plate here, if I can do this with one hand, and there you go. Now all I have to do is push my antennas down and then pop. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the screw in first down here because the SMA jack is going to go through there. So we're going to screw this board down. I'm going to pop the old antennas back into their place, into their respective position. They're supposed to go like so. And if I can get this one down there too. This may take a minute because that one's uh, got the hot glue to deal with. So I'll just have to tuck this one in a little bit differently. But let me put the screws back in. I'll show you what it looks like here. So there you go. I put a little hot glue on top of there to keep that one down on top of the other SMA jack. Everything is screwed in now. So now you can see what that looks like. I think we should see some range boost here, man. Uh, that's quite the antenna we've put on there. And uh, it's directly soldered in. So, doesn't look too bad, man, with my LED, it just doesn't want to show things. So I'm going to finish putting the screws in, we're going to put this back together, turn it on, and make sure it's working. There you go, guys. G-Box with a modified 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi antenna. Turn it on. Bam. We got power, we are transmitting signal. It'll be interesting to see how much more range we've increased now. Alrighty guys, what's up? We're going to try to do another tutorial with the modified G-Box here. I have started the screen recording. Everything seems to be working just fine. I'm turning my body. It understands the compass bearing. I'm going to pinch the screen to bring this back out a little bit. I'm going to drag it with my finger. We're going to zoom in just a tad bit. There we go. So we have a good waypoints map. I'm going to try to stay within the green here. Make sure my camera is pointed up. We are good to go. Seven satellites is more than plenty. We're having a problem with satellites out here today. I just flew the solo and I couldn't get more than seven or eight. So this is just a crummy day for satellites. But this is with a modified G-Box. I'm going to go ahead and hit take off. We're going to slide to take off. See if we can do some waypoints with this uh, antenna mod I've done. All right, I should get a slider here in a sec. We're going to move this out of the way. Here's my slider. 
We're gonna really take her up. I'm gonna watch it and make sure that we get above the telephone poles here. Or above the uh, lamps, I should say. I wanna be nice and high. All right, there's 150 feet. We should be good to go. I'm gonna drag the map down. I'm gonna tap over here for my first waypoint and hit go. Command. Let's see how it does. Now this is with the modified G-Box. Let's see if we lose connection one time during this entire flight. It's off. There she goes. I'm gonna adjust the yaw settings just a little bit while she's riding. There we go. Whoops, too much, too much, too much. There we go. <laughs> all right. She's almost out there. Coming up on 600 feet. There we go, 600 feet. Still cruising. 700 feet. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's tap out here over the water. Command. Let's see how she does over this way. She is listening to the command. And she is off in the new direction. However... The nose of it didn't turn, so maybe I should not have messed with the uh, settings. But I'll tell you what, she is going every bit of it. So, it is quite obvious I have managed to modify uh, this transmitter correctly. And, let's see, did it make it? No, oh, okay, well, it did. It made it. We're gonna see if we can get it to hover. Okay, hover, good, good, I got control again. That's 800 feet away, so let's tap over here. Come see if in. we can get it to go. That was a big truck that went by. Is it gonna go? Hover. Put it back in hover here. Choose a new waypoint, see what happens. Just gonna sit out there and hover, huh? Come on. Command. <laughs> there we go. Now it's listening. Okay. So, a little bit of a lag time in between the G-Box and the transmitter, but we did get out to 800 feet. And like I said, I'm in a really crummy Wi-Fi zone. Like, this is horrible. So, it is listening. This is a good thing. Let's go ahead and send it back out to this first waypoint. Command. We're going to make it adjust direction midair. There we go. Is it going to go? Command. Go. Oh, I see. You have to wait until it kind of reaches the next waypoint before you set a new one. Aha. That makes sense. Well, guys, I'm getting all sorts of good flight out here today. We're at 66% battery. I'll wait until it reaches that waypoint, and then we'll push it down to 50th Street. So, obviously, my antenna modification did work because I'm getting much better range and we've only had one signal drop off in this crummy, crummy Wi-Fi area. So, we'll wait till it reaches that one. What's up guys? Don't forget to smash that like button. It's free for you and it helps pay me more. It also changes my algorithm, so mad respect if you do. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more crazy videos like this. And also, I have supplied my email below of every video that I put out in case you guys need to get in contact with me. And below that will also be the address that you can send stuff to. So if you want to send me a piece of mail, feel free to do so. It doesn't matter if it's a package, a box, a hello letter, whatever you guys want to send. I'll be doing a mail time here pretty soon. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the flip, man. Tutoroo.